all of us as medical students and doctors need to know how to use basic surgical instruments because it is not only surgeons who may need to use them. Sometimes in your clinic you may be faced with a case uh, like a small sebaceous cyst or uh, a small skin lesion or in fact something like an abscess which may need to be drained. Therefore, uh, knowledge about basic surgical instruments will always keep you in good stead. Let us first start with the most common instrument we use in uh, general surgical practice and that is a dissecting forceps. This particular forceps is also called the Mitchell's forceps. Uh, it is a non-toothed dissecting forceps and it is atraumatic and is usually used to hold bowel like small bowel or large bowel and blood vessels. You may be asked how to hold a dissecting forceps and you should know that you have to hold it like you would hold a pen between your thumb and your index finger. Let us now move to a different category of instruments and that is scissors and uh, a scissors is usually used to cut some structure. Basically you have two types of scissors, curved scissors and a straight scissors and uh, the most popular scissors we use in general surgery practice is a Mayo scissors. A Mayo scissors is heavier than its lighter counterpart it is, which is also a curved instrument and the most common one we use here is the Medzenbaum curved scissors which is used to dissect tissues. A Mayo scissors is heavier and uh, is usually used to cut tough structures like fascia. Whereas uh, its lighter counterpart the Medzenbaum scissors is used to cut more finer tissue, uh, tissues like for example when you are reflecting the bladder or you are cutting muscle tissue you could use a lighter scissors. The straight counterpart of the scissors is a Mayo scissors. A Mayo scissors has a straight blade and has a joint and this, the manner in which you hold a scissors is very similar to how you would hold a uh, needle holder. Again, let me just demonstrate to you how you cut a structure. You always use your other hand on the joint so that the scissors is firmly held and the, the scissors cuts with a controlled movement. Never be out of control or never lose control over your instruments because sometimes you could cut more than what you intend to cut. So always support with a finger from the opposite hand and then using the same technique how you hold needle holder, you could cut structures. Another method is you could keep your other finger at a distance which will help you determine how much tissue you want to cut. So if you want to cut a less muscle or less fascia, you keep it at that particular distance and with a control movement you cut that structure. We welcome you to the future of medical and healthcare education. We welcome you to MedRC, the heart of learning.